Good morning, good people of the horse racing world. This is Andrew Mount for GG on Wednesday, the 8th of January. As far as I know, World War III hasn't broken out, so Kempton will be going ahead with their car tonight, and what a good one it is as well. I've already tipped up Rainy City in the 6.15. That's James Fanshawe's second favourite. Still available around about 6 to 4. Um, really didn't aid his cause by ducking towards the inside to challenge at Wolverhampton last time out but for which I think he would have got closer to the winner. So uh, I think you can upgrade that run. And uh, as I said in my blog, I think he should be favourites uh, ahead of the Mark Johnson horse. So still some value about for Rainy City at 6-4. to four. Now looking at some of the other races, um, I've uh, had a good bet on Heart Stopper in the 7.45. Uh, he's one of the best bets on the card at Kempton tonight. I've long held the view that Heart Stopper needs a dead flat track. His turf uh, wins have all come at the likes of Haydock, Yarmouth and Windsor. Uh, I work occasionally with his owner, Tom Morley, and I've explained this theory to him on more than one occasion. He actually asked me to email Stuart Williams and uh, sort of tell him my theory as well. Uh, I really thought he could uh, make up into an air silver or gold cup horse at one time. That didn't pan out. Now, he's naught from six on the all-weather heart stopper, but um, most of those runs have come on unsuitable tracks. Last time I, he ran at Southall, finishing last of seven. Uh, his sire, uh, Compton Place, has got a poor record on um, fibre sand of late. Plus, he was poorly drawn and was unsuited by the drop to five furlongs. He's had one run in his career on Polytrack. That was here at Kempton over this six furlong trip, finishing second by a neck at 20 to 1. And uh, in this amateur riders race with a big field and a strong pace more than likely, as is often the case uh, with amateurs, then I think everything's going to be run to suit. Uh, I've saved on Hassard for last year's winning yard, that of Archie Watson. She's drawn in store one and did well to finish second from the front at Newcastle last time out. Hopefully she'll be ridden with a bit more restraint. So heart stopper over Hassad in the 745, in addition to Rennie City in the 615. Now there's a couple of other races of interest. In the 515, this is a class six, six furlong handicap. I fired off a couple of arrows here at uh, big price ones. Rapidash, who I tipped at Wolverhampton last time on um, his nursery debut. He was only six that day, but the race wasn't run to suit. The front runners never came back. And in finishing six, he's actually done second best of those to come from the back of the field. The form's been given a boost by subsequent wins for the third and seventh. He's round about uh, 10 or 11 to one. And an interesting stat regarding Scally Wagtail in the same race. Not particularly well drawn this one for Gary Moore, but the yard does really well when putting first time blinkers on a horse. Uh, since 2013, uh, on the flat or over hurdles, it's 14 winners from 66, strike rate in excess of 21%, uh, and a profit of £79 to a £1 level stake at SP. So uh, Scally Wagtail could benefit from the first time blinkers, and uh, is round about uh, 20 to 1 on the exchanges when I last looked. And the trainer's last two first time blinkered runners to um, compete at Kempton produced a 20 to 1 winner in Moondance and a 14 to 1 second. Uh, finally, the, the 6.45, I, I tipped Harry's Bar in Racing and Football Outlook earlier this week, but the more I look at this race, the more I'm worried about the likely lack of early pace. Harry's Bar is fantastically consistent on the all-weather, four wins and five places from nine stars. But if they go at Dawdle here, he could be vulnerable at you know, nine to four. I'm prepared to let him go. Now, I have had a small bet on Junius Brutus in this race, um, po the possible pace angle in this five-runner field. And it's interesting that all his best forms come in small fields and his three best racing post ratings since uh, coming to um, Britain from France have uh, all come in fields of exactly five runners, including a group three second here at Kempton over this six furlong trip. So um, Junius Brutus might be worth a very small interest in the 6.45 uh, and also uh, Rapidash and Scallywag Tail in that 5.15. But again, these are just sort of place park small state win bets, very speculative uh, wages, heart stopper and rainy city are the ones I like the most. Uh, that's it from me until later in the week. Best of luck if you're having a bet. Cheers.